<laughs> River definitely went up, didn't it? I got, got a nibble. <laughs> yeah, he bit alright. He bit alright. Put a bobber on? No, I didn't put a bobber on. Oh, I put a bobber on. I put it down here, let it drift right down here. And I caught all five doing that. Yeah, I, I just got a nibble just now. Oh, good, good. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely a trout bite. I'm just gonna let it sink, because that's where they're down there. I just uh I guess you didn't catch all of them out here. Oh yeah. I got one. Oh, yeah. Nice, you got a bag? Uh, no. Alright, I'll get one. I'll come back. Alright. Yeah, that's the new ones I got. Hey, look at that, the booty. Alright. There we go, I got it. Alright, buddy, put the hook out of your mouth. Look at that. Nice one. Yeah, definitely a beauty. That's a one-year-old eastern brook right there. Yeah, he's a pretty little fish. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, my good baby. All right. Nice. Yeah, that's a one-year-old right there. Yeah. So I'm gonna need more worm because he ate all of it. <laughs> Caught one book trout and I'm gonna capitalize and catch another. Trigger to get close enough to the brook. So the. I doubt they would walk way over here to stock though. But it's worth a shot. Yeah. Don't want to yank too hard. You know, in some cases if you get snag like that. I'm pretty sure I'm just The guy with the uh, I love I love ugly sick rods. I personally recommend the GX2 meat light action for brook trout. And a four pound moth fluorocarbon for for catching the for doing that. And, uh, personally, one trout's good for one brook, but I want to catch more, so let's make it happen. Yes.
Tá. I think something was uh, biting at this. Something was biting it? Yeah, because it's all chewed. Has the. Did you feel them? I didn't feel anything. Uh, must have been uh must have been so much current that I didn't notice it. <laughs> well, fishing the start of the season right now. And it is cold. Talking to myself. I'm going, mm, I'm up. <laughs> He's talking me. Wow, this is down a lot. Alright. Uh, uh. I never get anything here. Yeah, the current's taking it really down the stream. Haven't caught anything here in years. You know, like too much current though, it takes it right downstream. Yeah, I see that. You can try to control. No, I thought I got a bite, but rod is real touchy. Yeah, I'm not wasting my time here. No. I'm going to take us off actually. We're going home after this, so. Come on. Surprised for how far this went down, though. It's raining all night long, and. Yeah, if there is anything in here, minnows or shiners or book trout. You gotta always clean your hook too when you're um, out here. You don't want to, don't want to go on the same. So that's gonna be it for this video. Um, I might pick it up somewhere else or I might just end it here, but we're gonna, that's gonna be it for today. So, yeah, that's that. Hey guys, um, so day one of, of two is complete. My grandfather and I, um, Caught the first, well, I caught the first fishes of the season for myself. Um, they came back early because the truck had some has some possible mechanical issues and we couldn't continue on. But tomorrow we're gonna take the car out. We're gonna do, we're gonna finish what we started today, and it'll be that will be day two of two. And let's hope for the best and hope we can get more fish tomorrow. So, so please continue watching.